Hello there, Capricorn. This is your March 2023, second half of March 2023 love reading. And this is sort of like, um, I'm just doing whatever comes up. My guys are going to give me questions after we find out what the initial start up. The general energy is. That's what I want to say. The general energy. After we figure out the general energy, then we're going to see what kind of questions they give me to ask you. Okay, so let's start with what's going on with most of you Capricorns right now. Or whoever's supposed to hear this right now. Let's see. They keep on. I'm sorry. They're making me move so much. There we go. Okay, that had to pop out for whatever reason. We have the Queen of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini you could be dealing with. You know, it feels like you see these cards. This card is facing that way, that card is facing that way. It seems like there's something going on with you and another. And you're not talking maybe or, some, or you're in your head about something. Let's get a charm on this Queen of Swords. Okay, there's some kind of some kind of flow here, though. There's there feels like there's a very strong connection, but for some reason you're not talking right now. And I mean, this could be your energy. This could be other person. Take it whichever way it it resonates with you guys. But someone is really in their head about this. The other person does not want to have nothing to do with whichever way this goes. Come on, get them. Getting, there's a connection here there's a strong connection here but for some reason and this is meant to happen you probably maybe you're clearing something up this way wow okay let's see starting off confused but we'll see what happens <laughs> okay let's see here we have uh see there's past life or there's just some a lot of memories here very strong connection okay let's clarify I think you guys been through this other lifetimes there's something maybe this lifetime is something where you're supposed to really clear something up so let's see why is the queen of swords here judgment yeah see there's something something that has to be addressed oh there's something under, oh i didn't even know there's something under there also i said gee that looks weird okay so someone has some kind of addiction or some kind of um, energy that the other person is not dealing with. So I, I, I'm i getting both, you know, I'm getting you're the queen of swords. And then for some of you guys, I'm getting the person you're dealing with is queen of swords. So I'm getting both energies. So take it how it resonates with you. But someone, this queen of swords is not dealing with this other person. And they're stuck in their head. I don't know. They're, they feel trapped. They don't know how to get out of this addiction or whatever this is that has a hold, feels like it has a hold on them. Okay, this is getting pretty intense right away. Okay, let's see now. Why is a wheel here? I mean, you guys were destined to go through it. Oh, look at these cards flipping for you guys. Okay, some this is something happening quick. There's going to be some kind of explosion, like something being revealed, something coming out, something. And this is meant to be. Cancer energy, Aries Scorpio energy. Okay, of course... The devil is Capricorn energy, so that's your energy. So again, take it how it resonates. Come get my every time I ask in my head which ways to go, I'm getting both, both, both. So, all right, <laughs> let's see about this. Um, eight of swords. Why is the eight of swords here? The Empress, okay, Libra Taurus energy, but this person here. Is there a birth that came out? Maybe someone found out about it. Oh, I'm getting warm. Okay, someone someone either is running a fever or someone runs really warm. I'm just feeling a lot of heat right now. Or someone's really angry. It's almost like a... Like some, oh, it's getting warmer and warmer. Okay. Emperor's energy. This is trying to give birth to something. Trying to... Um, or giving birth to something. Could be that... Wow, I'm, I'm, I don't know. It feels like a stuck energy about a birth or about trying to birth something. Now, this could be a business. Let me get some more cards because I'm, I'm really feeling... Oh, justice. Justice is coming in to be served here. 
I am so confused about what's going on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably going to come into play more when we get through this, but let's see. So, um, okay, I'm going to ask, how does this person feel about you? How did you, this person feel about you? Let's try to pinpoint who's who here because, of course, I am getting both energies. So, um, Okay, King of Wands. Page of Wands. Emperor. Ooh, we have the Empress and the Emperor. This is a very strong dynamic here. Wow. I am so warm. Oh, my gosh. This is like a fiery, passionate connection here. Empress again. Okay. I'm going to say you're the Empress. I don't, you know, it could be switched here. But this person, I'm, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling both again. Just as, oh. look at all this, though. This is like fire this is passion that's why i'm feeling so warm here this person has a, a strong desire a strong passion for you so yeah i'm gonna put it that way you know i said how do they feel about you and they're saying this they want to control this situation they like to be in control is what i'm feeling here okay so king of wands and i almost feel like okay i'm gonna take it this way that you're just doing your thing and you're like almost ignoring them and driving them crazy here we have the uh, turn over new leaf May they see you doing something different. And they're trying to. They want to be a part of that. And you're not letting them in. So we have the King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. They have a lot of passion. A lot of desire to you. They want to speak to you. Okay. So maybe you're the Queen of Swords here. Yeah. I think you're turning your back on them. Of course we did have the Queen of Swords with the with the devil here so that could be also representing you okay so we'll go with that for most of you that you're the queen of swords and they got this person stuck in their head about you don't know what to do about you um but they want to contact you they want to have some kind of conversation they want to reach out okay page of wands let's see uh there's a change going on there's also they're trying to adapt to what you want Because they know they have to in order to keep you in their life here. We have this Empress. There's a very, very strong connection here. Wow. Okay. But there's something has to be brought into justice here. It has to be fair. And that's what you're working on here. Let's see. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? Queen of Pentacles. This person sees you maybe focused on your money. That you're you're like I'm like I'm giving up on this romance. I'm giving up on dealing with you. It, it feels like I I can't deal with you. You're too controlling or too. I don't almost feel like this person feels like. No, no. You feel that way about them, but see, I'm going back and forth. Why is this happening? Okay. I'm saying that, and so it's, I feel like I got two different people talking in my head here. Oh, we have the Shamrock. It's just St. Patty's Day yesterday. Wow. I mean, of course, this is going to be done on Sunday when you guys see it, but I am filming it on Saturday and Friday with St. Patty's Day. So there's something about luck here. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is a very difficult energy. It almost feels like you guys, I don't know how to, like you guys switch. Like one one minute you're doing one thing, and then they're they're doing an, another thing, and then you sort of like switch roles. Does that make any sense? But this person sees you focused on your money, doing like sort of. You're focused on your money. Yes, you're. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I I feel like there's two voices hit me right now. And they're, they're trying to be a little crazy. Okay, now what about this um, page of wands? <gasps> really stuck here. Again, this energy feeling stuck. Don't know how to reach out. Doesn't know how to 
express themselves. I, I feel like this person, whoever this is, they get in their head and they... That's the anger. Okay, thank God the heat went away because that was really getting intense. It was really warm. Uh, but it was like this person... I don't know if they get red in the face or you see their, it like builds up with them. Whoever I'm tapping into. I know this is not going to be a lot for a lot of people. But... Okay, what about this emperor? Why is the emperor here? They gotta, see, their emotions for you are so strong that it overwhelms them. Never before has this person felt out of control. And that's why they feel with you. Oh, now I'm getting chills on top of chills. Oh, this is a very intense connection. Whew. Oh my God, I'm, getting, I, I'm like right now, now I'm freezing. It's like crazy. <laughs> Someone's moving away from something. Someone has to move away from something. I don't know. This could be you trying to move away from this person because they drive you bonkers here. Or it could be maybe just taking a little trip, a little time out, just chilling. Um, you know, maybe a holiday, vacation. Need to move away is what I'm feeling. Okay. Okay. So, you know what? I want to know this. Why did this person come into your life? <clears throat> Let's find out that. To work together on something, a partnership here. To start a new beginning. To bring justice into this connection. Okay, so there was a past life connection here. You guys are being brought together to make something work here. Justice, Libra. Um, Pool is Aries and Aquarius. And then we have, you have to celebrate to um, come together here. Okay. So let's see. Why is the three of coins here? Why is the three of coins here? King of Pentacles. Okay. You guys are a match. Do you do something maybe in some kind of finances or that you work together in that sense? Or maybe you're both really good with money? Because um, you guys are Emperor and Empress. King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. Working together as a partnership. And if it, maybe you're supposed to have a business together. Or maybe you do. Okay, the King of Pentacles. Where's Virgo Capricorn? Yes, this is like new love or bringing together partnership. This, you know, this is a partnership for life. This this bond is so, so intense that it's like too much for either one of you to handle, I feel. You can't, you can't sort of break away from it even if you try. Because you're probably meant to finish something here or do something somehow. Uh, let's see about the fool. Oh, this card doesn't want to go back in. Look, it does not want to go back in. So we have... Oh, okay. There's some kind of holding back. Maybe someone's trying to stop this connection from going together. There could be someone um trying to prevent something here. This is like, no, this person sneaking in the camp and taking all the swords. This is like trying to take something away from someone. Trying to keep, maybe this person's trying to keep you from attacking them. I don't know. I don't see you attacking them, though. It's really weird. I'm getting all these different kind of things coming up. Okay. What about the justice? Very confusing energy. It almost feels like that's the way you feel about this person, though. It's like, I don't know what they're going to do next. Okay, justice. See, there's definitely a strong past life connection. Look at this. Bringing justice in from other lifetimes. Where maybe someone did something here and someone's trying to prevent that from happening this time. Um, Knight of Pentacles coming in with an offer. Here goes the chills again. Oh, yes. This is giving me confirmation. They're going to come in with an offer here. Coming slow and steady. Want to make sure they do this correctly. Okay. Okay, what do you need to know about this person or this situation in order to understand it more clearly? What do you need to know? There's a lot of love here. There's there's potential. Ooh, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of passion. Whoa, look at these tents. Wow, this is such an intense connection. It's unreal. So here's like, there could be a very loving, happy family life here. 
um, maybe you have a family with this person. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. That's why I think when it gets real hot, it's like when you guys get together, you're like re ready to spontaneously combust. <laughs> it's like so strong. And so there's commitment here. There's a very strong commitment. And also, together, I think you can make a lot of money. That you work well together. Look at this. This is like socializing, going out. You're okay <laughs> so that's what you're supposed to know i don't know it's getting together celebrating something here let's see maybe there's some kind something coming up where you guys might go to the same event okay let's see what about this ten of cups options okay maybe someone has more options or this confusion about all the options. There's also maybe within the business, maybe there are different segments or sectors, sex, sex, sectors of this business. Wow. And of course, that's not for everyone either. But it's confusion here. I feel confusion and delusion. What about the the Ace of Wands? They're watching you. They, they're keeping tabs on you. You might not be aware of it, but they are. They have so much passion, desire for you. This person um, loves you to their core. That scares the bejesus out of them. Let's get a... Um, okay, see, they want to go on a trip with you, or they want to go somewhere with you. They're, they like to... Yeah, they like to travel with you, maybe. Or they want to take you somewhere. Uh, but they are keeping tabs on you. They're trying to find out what you're up to they can't i think this person can't stop watching you or can't stop you know trying to find out what's going on with you page of swords aquarius sleeper gemini okay now what about this ten of coins yes they're going to come with an offer here they, it might be something as a business offer but they're going to offer you something to, as far as either a commitment or a business proposition. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me get a term on that. We have here an apple. Does that mean? Okay, that might mean something to someone here. Something about an apple. They're coming with an apple. <laughs> I thought about Adam and Eve. I don't know. Um. Okay. Let me put the Knight of Pentacles here. Coming in to speak the truth or trying to bring you the truth here. Hmm. Okay. I, I need to set. Whoa. I, I feel like that. someone's emotions are just running over here. And their true feelings towards you, let's do that. I don't think I did that, did I? I don't even know why I did I'm, I'm getting so intense here. Okay, what are their really true deep down feelings towards you? Which I don't even know why I'm asking this, because this person's like over, head over heels in love with you, but I don't know why. Let's see, my guys are throwing that at me again, so. Okay, this is the Six of Cups. They're, they're feeling this deep connection here, memories. They see you as their empress. And also, you know, an opportunity here. Go an opportunity for you guys to work together, to work on something here. Um, there might be two choices. Maybe you have the two choices. They have the two choices. Or just two different ways to go about this. This card always reminds me of some pointing towards the past. So you guys are in the past for them. That they're trying to bring back in here. Um, they put you on a pedestal. They simply adore you. There's just so many memories here. It goes to just very deep. And I think it's because it triggers something from maybe past lives here. What about the Six of Cups? Yeah, they're going to come in and want to offer. They need to make an offer. They need to come towards you somehow. They're not sure which way to do it. We have the Arrow of Love here. Look at this. An arrow with the heart on it. This person's not going to give up on this. This is so intense. They can't. I, don't, I think you both are sort of like really... Um, connected here from other lifetimes let's see th the empress 
they protect from this connection. I think if other people interfere, they'll they'll prevent them from trying to do anything. And what about the ace of coins? Yeah, they want a victory with you. They they they're crazy about you. They want to balance things out. They want to make this work somehow, some way. Being patient, balancing things out. Okay, let's see what the outcome will be. Potential outcome for you guys. What's the potential outcome? Okay, you might refuse them. Got the king of coins here. Because you're not trusting them totally. You don't know what they're up to. You're going to wait. You're not going to make a decision right away because you you want them to show their whole hand here. There's king of coins. Okay. Yeah, we... Oh, this makes such sense. Let me find something to put this on. I'll do this. Look at this. This is a heart with infinity. You guys are, are sort of like with each other forever, it feels like. <laughs> uh, there's such a strong, deep connection. Oh, boy. Okay. King of Pentacles. I mean, and you have freedom of choice. Even if this feels that intense, you know, this person doesn't treat you right. Definitely, you know, forget it. I just feel like they get so intense that they never had this feeling before with anyone that they're... Whew. But if, they, if there's any way they treat you wrong in any sense of the word, you just leave them be. Okay, let's see. What about this Four of Cups? This is like... You're probably not interested in doing this with them uh, they're coming very hot and heavy here passionate knight of wands aries leo oh she's wow soon i went to grab this someone have a problem with their their i'm not really wrist but right over here in the lower part of the thumb as soon as i went to grab that it's like oh that hurt like someone hurt themselves or sprained their their um the lower part of the palm here i don't know but I just, I usually when I get some kind of pain out of nowhere, it means something for someone. Okay, Knight of Wands. So it's giving you like, okay, this is meant for you, this part. This person's coming with a lot of passion and desire. They, they want you and you might refuse them and they know it. Okay, what about this King of Coins? What about this King of Coins? Trying to make a decision. This is like looking back at the past to try and make your decision with this person here. And what about this Seven of Swords? Not trusting something here. Oh, coming in with... So I think this person is going to make a different attempts. If you they come in one way, they're going to come another way. This is like the Knight of Swords comes in with... Failure is not an option. So they might be a little more aggressive. They're coming in here romantic. And if that doesn't work, they might come in a little more aggressive. But remember, it's up to you. We have, yeah, they definitely want communication here. There's going to be communication. I feel like they're getting guided to come towards you. And you know, you're going to stand your ground no matter what. So that's good. If it, this is not meant for you, you know, then it's not meant for you. Just don't take it. I mean, even if it's very, it feels in it very intense, it feels like a connection that was very intense for both you guys. But, you know, just because you, you guys... um. No one has a right to treat anybody bad. So if there's any reason this person's treating you wrong, treating you bad, you, you know, you don't have to put up with it. Okay, let's see what the word is. I'm getting so many different energies. So many, like, just take the parts that resonate with you because it feels like there's a lot of different parts for different people coming through here. We have likely, contact, revealed. Whoop. I don't know why I knocked this one over. <laughs> so... Yeah, so there is going to, someone is going to contact someone. And something might be revealed during that contact. Okay, what about this Queen of Pentacles? Insult, you know, I picked this up and dropped it. So it's almost like someone did or didn't insult you. So I picked it up, I dropped it, I went for it again. I should probably should have just left it, I don't know. Insult, sex, sharing. Oh. Okay, you guys, if that makes sense to you, rearrange the words to make sense to you, if it makes sense to you. Okay, what about this um, King of Wands? After. Expose. Third party. Whoa, okay. That makes sense. Sex sharing and then third party. So, this... Whoa, that I can understand. That someone brought another person into a very deep, deep connection 
and now they want to come back in it's like forget you oh my gosh look what came out lust apart omitted okay so i think someone's been really wanting someone and admitted that since you guys been apart they've been really heavy thinking okay wanting someone bad okay what about this king of pentacles sincere memories married okay this either this person has sincere memories of being married to you this is also this past life maybe someone knows about feels past life connection of being married maybe they, they had dreams about it or um they want to be married to you okay what about this page of swords we have surprise very soon honest okay very soon someone's gonna surprise you and be very open and honest with you okay what about this knight of pentacles drama freedom truth okay so there's gonna be yeah so they're gonna be honest with you so by being honest they're gonna give you the truth and that's gonna give you the freedom from this drama maybe something will be understood by this what about this page of pentacles thoughts reunite family okay so if you guys have a family together this person is wanting to reunite the family so only take if this resonates for you what about this knight of swords we have here karma love tower okay so someone is experiencing some kind of karma in the future as due to this love here aries scorpio energy what about this king of pentacles we have new start money always so maybe there's some kind of new start. Maybe it's always about money. This is the King of Pentacles. So there may be some new start because of money. Or there's always some new start. Ooh, you know, again, rearrange will make sense to you. Let me get a clarifier on the money. We have here. Oh, someone's going to give someone a gift of money. Or maybe that's it. Maybe someone always gives someone a gift of money when they're trying to get a new start with you. You know, that could, that could be. Okay, what about this Knight of Swords? person might be very focused on money mature tick tock career okay someone might be maybe they're older and they're feeling like they're running out you know they come towards the end of a career or something or something's matured in a career that something is something about timing the time here okay again take it only if it resonates take the parts that resonate don't the whole thing doesn't have to be for you this is a general reading let's see what signs we're dealing with here for capricorn very confusing to start with but there's a very intense connection here scorpio leo sagittarius virgo Aquarius and Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Now we're going to do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters uh, for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initial, and they have a middle name, you can know that middle name. Get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, and future. Also your own initials. Wow, this is running the longest of all uh, readings so far. G. C. B, T, H, B, Y, J, A, R, Z. Okay, so letters we have for you today are G, C, B, T, H, B, Y, J, A, R, Z. Okay, guys, so if you don't have someone that you feel that intense with, then this reading is probably not for you. Um, but it's a very intense connection. It goes back many lifetimes, it feels like. Something has to be straightened out in this life a time, but that's what you guys are working on. Okay, let's see here. We have Raina. 
R E Y N A. Conrad spells with a K. Okay, Judy. Linda. Latoya, L A T O Y A. Marie. Jacqueline. Spell J A C Q U E L I N E. Kim. Keisha, K Y E S H A. Gary, G A R R Y. Okay, just need one more. One more. Chester. Okay, there you go. So those are names. Now remember, guys, this is a general reading. Just take the parts that resonate. Leave the parts that don't. This is not a personal reading. So it can't fit anyone completely. I mean, if it does, it'll really surprise me. But it's very intense. It's a very intense connection. Um, okay, guys. Um, so if it does not resonate, check out your other placements. But please leave me comments. Let me know if it does resonate. And, um... Yeah, I, I just can't get over this. This is like so strong. It had me going through the heat and the cold and the chills and, and everything else. It's like, phew. all right, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.